हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम इन टेक महोदय यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज द फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस सोलर विंड एंड यूटिलिटी दिस इज माइक्रो किट दिस इज द प्रोजेक्ट फॉर एम टेक एंड बी टेक इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैकेट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच प्रोजेक्ट सो नाउ वील सी दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी हेर यूज the transformer this is the 12 volt 2 ampere transformer so this is the lcd 16 by 2 lcd we have used here this lcd which is connected to microcontroller port 0 and port 1 now so this is the microcontrollers here use 89s52 microcontroller so why we use this microcontroller because it has total four ports and all the ports are bidirectional and second thing the memory of this microcontroller ic is nothing but 4k that's why we choose this ic for this project so this is the power supply buttons this is the sliding switch when will on this switch then this circuit will be run or on and this is here we have used the two regulator ic one is 7805 another is 7812 7805 this one ic which is connected to the lcd and this microcontrollers so microcontroller required plus 5 volt and lcd is also required the plus 5 volts of their operation and here this 7805 microcontrollers provide the 5 volt for lcd and microcontroller now second ic it is the 7812 this is the this ic which is provide the 12 volt to this relay so relay requires 12 volts of their operation now so here sugar cube relay we have used so this is the electrolytic capacitors here we have used the two filters the first filters which is used for the 7805 the another filters used for 7812 ic so this is the 25 volt 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor we have used as a filter for the power supply of this circuit so now you can see this is the crystal circuitry Microcontroller required 12 megahertz frequency, so that here we have used the 12 megahertz crystal, which is connected pin number 18 and pin number 90 of this microcontroller. Now, so this is the relay, relay which is connected to the load. This is the load, and relay which connect or disconnect the load from the sources here relay which is connected to port 3 of this microcontroller lcd which is connected to the port 0 and port 1 of the microcontroller and all the sources inverter logic 0 which is getting from the circuitry which is connected to the port 2 of this microcontroller now what is the use of this circuit this circuit basically use for converting the high voltage into the logic zero voltage so here we have used the 7404 inverter ic so here so this is the load okay so this load operate on this 230 volt it 230 volt voltage so this is the wind it is generated the uh, it's convert the wind energy into the electrical energy see when we move this then so then here this led which indicate that the wind is generated by this mechanism now so this is the solar 
so when we focus the light on the solar then the led will be glow you can see here led will be glow so this is the another power uh, switch this is a sliding switch okay this one when we press this switch then circuit will be show welcome this is universal dc microgrid welcome in field this one circuit required a plus 5 volt supply so now we will apply the 12 volt supply with the help of this 9 volt battery okay now i will on this switch okay when we on this switch this led will be glow this led will be glow both the bat both the power supply must be connected over here before the get before before starting circuit so now you can see here please on any source load is disconnected definitely load is disconnected when we apply the any load so here wind energy is available here it will be shown wind system connected load is on so according to that load will be connected to the wind energy now next is this is this solar okay when we apply the solar it will be shown see here solar system connected load is on you can see here now when we apply the both the source wind and solar you can see here solar and winds are available and here is also wind is connected load is on solar and winds available load is connected to the solar and load solar plus wind is connected to the load because wind energy is more than the solar here you can see here the solar plus wind is available okay so now last is utility source so when we press the utility source this one okay main so main supply is connected load is on here load is on okay and when we apply the wind energy and the main supply then what will be happen we will see so now wind energy will be generated here and main source is also available so here wind and main available wind is connected so definitely wind energy here it is the free energy renewable energy that's why it is connected to the load and main energy here utility source here bypass if all the energy are available agar sari energy agar available rehti hai to kya hota hai dekhte hain ye bandar wind solar wind sona solar and main solar wind and mains available so you can see here the load is connected to the solar and wind energy if all the sources are available solar wind main energy main so here solar wind all this available here so load is connected to this solar and wind energy so if you like this project so you can book this email id is given below if you wish to book this project you can contact me the email id is given on the descriptions so you can
if you like this project stories you can contact me and please like share and subscribe this channel thank you so much